So, got some fans who wanted to say hi. Look at them. Let's see. This guy's got a glasses. He's cool. Map of the soul. And we got Barry Sir. And then we got Sword Singer. Or Swinger. Oh, that's Sword Sing. Swing. Sword Swinger. Oh my goodness. And then I think, I, I think that's it. That's all who came. I told everyone if they wanted to be in the movie, they should show up. But, you know, you no know, one's showing up. And now, they, now they're beating me. Now they're beating me. You don't like being beaten. You be alone. You be alone. Hey guys, welcome. This is the next episode. I don't remember. I think this is 10. I think it's 10. All right. So episode 10, we're going to make our way through the Parion Mountains. There's actually a bunch of stuff we can explore. Um, this goes up to a dead end and uh, some stuff to explore there. And then this is where they added in like the guild PQ stuff. And there's some pretty hard monsters towards the end. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. So, and then we're going to make our way this way. And uh, I'll show you what's at the end there. I don't know if they have the drop off point that drops you into Sleepy Wood or not. I think that was added later on, but I'm not sure. And then we'll make our way to Lania, and I think we'll call that today. So, yes, here we go. This is a very long map, as you can see by the mini map. And it's pretty notably like if, if you played as a warrior you you knew this area if you did quests you knew this area because you'd have to kill some stumps and this was a pretty common area to kill stumps so i mean there were some dark stumps up ahead up above me and then uh there's also this room over here which uh you'll find in this area it's the only area that has um the iron boars like there's the iron pigs but uh, somewhere in this area has the iron boars. Yeah, these guys. Um, I don't think they were anywhere else in Victoria Island. Um, at least I don't think so. I'm gonna turn on Magic Guard just to be safe. Uh, but and I never really came to this area. I mean, with uh, it being so hard to level. I, I never really had any need to come here. There wasn't that many quests that required the boars drops or anything. And um, a lot of, uh, you'll actually see that a lot. Uh, what I, what just happened to me, the little um, death trap down there that says danger. Uh, you jump down it and you kind of get teleported automatically. I don't know why they did that, um, but you'll see that a lot in Perion and in certain maps in Perion, not everywhere. I mean, this isn't a half bad place to train. There's some really good mobs here. Um, the more I'm seeing this, the more I'm starting to believe that they did up the the monster count of mobs. And there's another teleporter over here, as you can see. And it takes me all the way to the same place. So, um, let's see. There's a big tree up here. I don't think it does anything. No, just a tree. So, that's all that's in this room, and uh, killed my bogey, and then pff, another random room of nothingness. So, I have a feeling that uh, a lot of new players who are used to the new maple are going to look at this and be like, you know, there's like no point to all this extra space all the extra rooms and i guess it makes you know it, it might be another reason why they changed victoria island was there was a lot of dead ends and um like oh, okay i guess that doesn't go anywhere but you know there wasn't there was a lot of dead ends and maps that went nowhere at all and it's like okay you got like Tons and tons and tons of maps that go nowhere. That's just taking up space that you could use for new areas, for example. So, I mean, as much as I don't like 
all the maps missing and how they changed everything and I like the exploration part and the variety I mean I can see how it just it, it made sense to them to take out all these extra maps because really they served no purpose other than to explore them so I mean that I mean that's something they had to gamble with they they had to take a chance on that because you know they wanted to expand they didn't want the game to be the same thing and they took in the advice from certain players saying you know it was way too hard to level I mean I saw a lot of reviews saying that you know I really thought the game had potential and the soundtrack was really good but it just when, when I can't get anywhere after three days of playing the game it's, I mean they, it, it really that that will make or break a game for someone if they play it for three days and they feel like they're still haven't gotten anywhere you know three days of gameplay and you're still like level 15 and you haven't really gotten anywhere I mean for some people it's like okay I don't feel like this is going quick enough so all right moving along over here there was an NPC where he had some quests um, a lot of pretty famous quests like uh, gathering the fossils from the mushrooms and the stumps which I think a lot of these quests are still around uh, so you might even know them if you play GMS and actually do quests and not just grind all day so these maps actually I believe just go on for a while but there is an NPC over here I don't think it's anything though yeah it's just the sword I think I think it's for a specific quest but there there's a lot of like NPCs you'll notice throughout the game I think some of them are still around like uh, there will just be a random NPC that's like oh hey look it's a rock and it's got a green icon on the screen which means it's an NPC but you click it it does nothing so it's like what's the point of the rock don't know no one knows and uh, hey look and diamond door so if you're wondering if the diamond or quest thing works and if you have no idea what I'm talking about I, I I'll look up a link in the description uh, there was a quest line that uh, it was it was you had to get it was the the sauna quest line you had to get some sort of milk for this guy's kid and you had to go to a fairy in Elenia and say hey I want I want this milk and she's like okay well if you bring me this and a diamond I will give you the milk and so um, as dirty as that sounds you give her the diamond she gives she gives you the milk and then you're like okay well what happens if I drop the milk you drop the milk and then she's like okay well you're gonna have to give me another diamond if you want another milk and um, every time you got the milk from her the point of doing this was you would get 5k experience 5,000 experience and this was like you know level 30 quest and so that it was a good good exchange now if you had a hundred diamonds that meant you could get a milk turn it in turn in the diamond and, and then drop the milk and you would get 5k experience and then you drop the milk and redo it again to get another 5k and it's basically like that's like killing a skeleton back then you know like a level 120 monster so it is if you farmed enough diamonds you could level insanely fast that way and that does not work on the server um, I've, I've already I've already tried so it don't work sadly um, it doesn't go that far back they patched it so and it looks like there's nothing in this map but drakes so that means we can go on back and uh, this map is fairly big and it and it, it's pretty cool how there's like a, a good amount of monsters on each platform so I mean the server has the potential to have a lot of players on it um, I mean they also have like all the other continents too so Singapore is here with gallops pretty sure mp3 is here too yeah it was yeah there's mp3 so 
Okay, uh, gotta make our way back up here. Map of the Soul. You are on my Let's Play. He just logged in. Oh. Okay, so. One, we got one area down. Oh, well, I guess that's two. Holy crap, this goes on for like ever. But. Okay, so we're back to the original map. We're gonna make our way further downward. And uh, the next couple maps, I believe, they are similar in a way. Like if you look on the mini map, you know, there's monsters above and below me. Um, but the monsters are different for each map. And they're somewhat similar, as you can see. They're slight changes. But for the most part, they are the same. And then this one up here has a teleporter. So we'll go up here. And this is where um, our first batch of new monsters came in. So, I mean, before, when we got, let's see, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So there was Victoria Island for the longest time. And then even when we got, like, Nautilus, there wasn't any, like, new monsters introduced. Um, this, when they added in the Guild PQ, they uh, changed around Victoria Island, because it was smaller, actually, before. And then they added the Guild PQ, and this was the first batch of new monsters to Victoria Island. So, and it was a nice, nice twist. And, um, so, I mean, the stumps were just slightly different. And then they added in those native looking guys who, uh, um, they don't like to show their face. But I think that's for our own good. I think it, like, turns us to stone if we look at their face because they're just that ugly. I'm not sure. I mean, something with sharp teeth like that can't look beautiful. I, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, I'm just <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if there's any hidden teleporters around here. There might be there usually are but um, I'm not too Familiar with this this area so But um, this was a good place to train when you were training to 30 and uh, Oh, hello Hello person Okay, I guess he's gonna ignore me. Fine. Oh, okay. It looks like he's struggling to survive, so we'll we'll leave him. I'll just let him go. Here we go, and I'll kill all these things up here so that he has more spawn down there, and then he dies. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, bro. Just kidding. All right, so over here, uh, this was where the guild PQ was, is, and it currently in GMS is disabled because um, broken stuff. You know, they've changed game so much that uh, literally you can't do the guild PQ anymore and I can't remember why exactly I think I asked a friend but uh, it has something to do with like you there's like items that you need or something I can't remember um, I'm trying to think uh, what was it there's like something you need from a certain boss in, in order to like do something in it I don't know okay so um, yeah they, I think these maps are pretty much the same I don't think that these were changed all that much uh, they might have been a little bit but I for the most part um, I can't remember honestly I do know you can go into here. I don't know if you can still do that. Actually, I think you still can go into this, these towers. Um, so I think these would be maybe the last remaining hidden streets in in 
GMS? I don't know. Well, not in GMS altogether, but like in the Victoria Island area. So, um, it was a nice little twist that they did. Uh, you could go into these buildings and find other monsters that weren't outside. But, but yeah. Uh, there was uh, some... Back at the excavate... Uh, excavation... I think I said that right, camp. There was the, uh, there's a quest to like kill a bunch of those guys, similar to the Rememberer quest line where you just kill a bunch of mushrooms and stuff and eventually curse eyes. So, um, at the end over here, there's another building over there that you can go into, but it's pretty much the same as the last one we went in. Um, towards the end though, there, are like the horsemen guys, horsemen skeletons, and those guys actually um, are like level 70. Yeah, they're a big pain in the butt. They kill you. I'm gonna try. And they also did poison. Or cat. They they would cast poison. But I'm not seeing the poison. But uh. But yeah, so they would cast poison and they would hit really hard and they were, they were a big pain in the butt and you had to kill a few of them for some quests. And you know, the game was kind of mean like that back then because there was a bunch of quests that you, some of, there were a bunch of quests that you just categorized as, I'm never going to get this done because of what you had to complete. And uh, like either you had to find a drop that never dropped or you had to kill a bunch of monsters that were, for some reason, really high in avoidability and you wouldn't be able to hit them. And, uh, so, I mean, I mean, I guess it wasn't impossible. It's was just like, oh, so I got this quest that's, it that should be for a level, um, 70 and I'm like level 50. So, and it's not that great. It's kind of depressing. But it's kind of how it was. And for a lot of those uh, quests that... Why is this lagging? Oh my goodness. For a lot of those quests that you had to get an item that was like... Like Black Bull's Deed. It drops all the time now, but never drops anymore. Uh, if you found one, you had a choice. Well, I could sell it for like 5 million or... I could complete the quest and get like really crap experience because by the time you find a Black Bull's Deed you're what like level 100 anyway so you're gonna get a point zero one experience and like barely any money and the reward is like nothing you, you, it, all you would get is the satisfaction of I did it I complete the quest or you could get a bunch of money <laughs> so uh if this was a real life thing, real life, if, you, if someone offered you five million dollars for something that you could turn in for nothing, yeah, like your mom sends you out to the grocery store to get to get cottage cheese, and you're like, okay, and you go get the cottage cheese, and you're on your way home, and this guy's like, I'll give you five million dollars for your cottage cheese, bro, and you're like, eat a shit. What are you going to do? You're going to go with the money. <laughs> All right, so there's a hidden street right here. And uh, there, would be, there would be a lot of hackers in this map uh, because it wasn't that well known. A lot of hidden streets were very well known for having hack and hackers in them because, uh, you know, they're just out, like, out hidden very well. And so, and... You didn't have your BT trainers back then, a aka the stuff that makes hackers change channels by themselves and you have a really hard time finding your hackers. Um, if you can find a hacker who's just kind of like, I don't care, not changing channel by himself anymore, then a lot of people just don't care. But um, there's also a teleporter um, over here. Now this is a pretty big map. But um, as you can see, like if you, if I go like down and up, if you look at the mini map, you will not 
it, it looks like a completely different map. Like, that's how tall it is. So, um, you won't find many maps like this anymore that are, like, that tall. And for the most part, I think uh, they just show the whole mini-map now. And the mini-map will just kind of, like, extend all the way down here. And just show the whole mini-map no matter what if the map is big. So, um... But anyway, you know, what was interesting about having all these maps was traversing them. And if you, if you think about it, traversing a map like that, when you're back before they, that back before every job had a flash jump, I mean, it wasn't easy. Usually you only had haste if you were a thief and maybe if a thief was in your party. But for the most part, if you were just going somewhere by yourself, you'd be like me. Look at that, 100 speed and 100 jump. There's no gimmick. Um, this guy has teleport. Mages and uh, assassins, well, hermits, had that extra movement, move, uh, mobility. You know, mages had teleport, and then the hermit had flash jump at level 70, even. But he, you know, he had haste, but that could be shared. But, but still, warrior, bowman, and what was the other one? Oh yeah, Pirate. Pirate had a running thing where you could like double tap over and he would run. It was a nice change, but it, it, it was kind of just stupid and now my fraps is lagging again. Come on, I bought a new computer so I wouldn't do this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop lagging. Um, oh my goodness. Are you serious? Please stop lagging. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, anyway, I just feel like they should come out with better ways to give a character mobility than a flash jump. It's just kind of stupid that they are all the same. They're all the same. They could totally come up with different stuff, like, for example, the dashing. The dashing was a good idea. They just had to improve it. They had to do something with it. Um, for example, not make it look like I'm just walking faster. Like maybe look like the character's leaning forward and actually running. Uh, giving them a running sprite would be cool. Give uh, some animators something new to work with. And they instead took that idea completely out. And it was stupid. Then they gave them a flash jump of their own by turning around and shooting their gun. That was even worse. It's like, oh, I gotta work even harder now to flash jump. So... Okay, so that's the magician job instructor. You had to climb all the way up here in case you weren't paying attention. And um so yeah, I think I already showed this area. There's my favorite spot up there. I just kind of fell about beside it. Um and uh we're going to fall all the way down here and show how big this map is. Holy crap. Yeah, it goes on for a while. And all these trees you can basically go in and they all have different mobs. Well, they usually have unique mobs. It's not like they're all the same, but so it's it's, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. All right, we're pretty much almost done here. Think, think, yeah, we'll go up here and uh, die. So yeah, you can just hold up, and it keeps telling you teleporting you up the trees. I think there's something similar to this. Very similar to this in Elenia. Um, I think it's smaller though. And it looks like, yeah, there isn't the drop into Sleepy Wood. They later added a another another map, like a like you would climb up this ladder kind of thing. And um, it would take you to another map, and there was just like this drop ledge, and you would go and you would jump off it, and you'd be like, ah, and, and you'd be in Sleepy Wood. Like, instead of having to travel to Sleepy Wood through one of the pathways, or take the taxi. If you took the taxi, it would take you really far into the dungeon, so. Um, but yeah, you'd drop right into Sleepy Wood. It's pretty, pretty interesting. And, uh, so, yeah. I don't like flash jump, as you can tell. I mean, it's nice, but I feel like getting it at level 10 is... It ruins the game. I mean, 
there's no point to having any sort of elaborate platform if you can just flash jump across it with ease, you know? Um, with how it is now, it's just, it's too easy. The maps are too small and you can traverse them way too easily. And that's because every class has some sort of flash jump. And then you got Pre-Big Bang, which had all these in pretty, pretty elaborate platforms that were thought out. And it's like, okay, uh, if you had 100 speed and 100 jump, this wouldn't be a cinch to travel through. Um, if you had teleport, it would help. And if you had flash jump on the one class that had it, it would help. But for the most part, you you had to be skilled in getting around, and it's it's just kind of sad how it's just evolved into something that is too easy. It's just too easy, and I, I don't I don't like it. I like the the exploration part of it, and there's no point to it now because what are you gonna explore? You, you zoom through all these maps, and you don't even look at them completely. You don't take them all in. It's not an experience when you don't have to struggle to get from one town to another. You get what I'm saying? I think, I think that makes sense. So, okay, this is a very long episode. And uh, you're welcome for extending the length of the episodes. So, we will make our way to Sleepywood next episode. Next Friday, so stick around. I'll uh, see you guys later.